Hello everybody and welcome to Nuclear Throne. Nuclear. Nu nuclear. Nuclear. Whatever. I uh, just got off uh, doing a rogue look on this game. There seemed to be some uh, minor hype for it. And I am interested in delving in. Starting a series, you know, new roguelike, new opportunities, all kinds of things to learn. It's a lot of fun game, like a very fun game, a lot of fun game, very fun game. Uh, I'm totally into checking it out and giving it more extensive series. I could spend a lot of time with this, I definitely could see. I'm just gonna do the first episodes. I will not be able to get very far, so there's probably gonna be a lot of runs in these first episodes. Let me just start and get some action on the screen while I'm talking. Uh, there's probably gonna be a lot of runs per episode, if I were to guess, since I'm still quite new. And, uh, like I- oops, since I'm quite new, I will need some help from the viewers in a, a nice, friendly way. I'd love to get any, uh, information that you guys might have. Because I am pretty much in the dark. Like, I'll take my other roguelikes knowledge and bring it in here, and it usually- you can usually get semi-far with that knowledge, but, you know, I like, I don't know what perks are the best. Push, like, push through a limited number of walls sounds really fun, but, like, this bloodlust, I feel like, might be pretty good. Better accuracy? Like, for all I know, I don't, like, I don't know the numbers on these. Better accuracy could mean, like, the world in this game, and for all I know. Anyways. We're playing as fish. I haven't used the dodge roll, but here, let me see something. Can I? Okay, so you can, s you can still get hit. That was my test. I will not do it anymore. So, uh, so dodge roll seems like maybe not the all-time best. Oh, okay, so that's right. Stuff fades away. Thankfully, it has a pretty big uh, pickup radius. Oh, I missed a chest down there. Like, things I don't know right now, um, locations of any sort of secrets, I don't know them. What weapons are better, I don't really know. Oh! That was a horrible one. Horrible death. But let's just, let's keep on playing as fish for a little bit here. Seems, seems right, he's the first character, and, uh, I don't know, he's typically pictured on, you know, on all the art and you know it's the main character you play as the main character typically on the first first episode of a series oh is that the last one okay it's not good kind of wanted to is there any secrets in cacti i don't like for all i know you there's a secret level if you bust every cactus on the first floor with a giant cactus monster you know or like you shoot at the right place on the wall and the portal opens up that, that stuff can happen. I don't know It's it's darn fresh Like I don't know maybe if you explode the wall in the right way I'm very oh, that was my first fruit punch break of the the series and I didn't even shout it out What's wrong with me? Okay, okay so far, I think this machine gun feels pretty powerful. I I typically uh, am not one for a, a machine gun approach to a game, though. Ah! I was talking in the in the rogue look about this game, and if you haven't if you haven't seen it and you want to get more like of uh, my impressions on the game, I, I go with pretty semi in depth near the end of that video. If you wanna. Okay, that I'll, I'll be repeating some stuff from the rogue look, I'm sure. But <clears throat> this is mostly. Oh, we probably missed a chest there. Uh, more speed, walk normal on all terrains. Get full health. We don't need that right now. Energy weapons deal more damage. We don't have an energy weapon. I'm gonna. I, I should maybe pick extra feet, but let's try it. This uh, walk through walls. Damage taken dealt to all enemies on screen sounds really cool. Most hit bullets become ammo. Shells bounce further. I want to get that. Sh the sharp T sounds good. The rec 
replenishing ammo does sound nice though. Oh, okay, so that is, that is good. I think that the perk I picked might be, oh, better for some more inexperienced players like myself. This guy has a, like a powerful burst, I know that. Okay, so if we walk into a wall hard enough. Eh, I'm not using my dodge roll nearly enough, but I just don't, it doesn't have any uh, iframes on it, invincibility frames. So, uh, struggling to f find the best time for it, but I think that'll come as I play more. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, that got terrible real quickly. Oh my god. I'm hoping we can at least get to, like, where I got in the rogue look in this episode. And I'm thinking of maybe doing this episode in uh, roughly around 20 minutes. I know some of you are wanting me to do hour-long videos with everything. I, uh, unfortunately, I don't, I don't know. If that's arrangement's gonna work out for me right now. Ooh, now so uh, 20 minutes should be fine. It's gonna be filled with a lot of death. It's not like you're missing out on a run. Laser pistol. I like the laser pistol from when I uh, my limited use with it. I think it has piercing. Uh, pistol guy. We missed out on a level up there. There, we got it now, but I don't know if you, I don't think you get any, like, base stat increases or whatever. I don't really see any, but maybe you do more damage or something, but I don't think so. Machine gun, I'll stick with my double pistols. I think I'll have a better luck with that. Ah. But I'm pretty sure level ups don't matter until you complete the level. I should, uh... Whoa! Are these enemies? The green ones? The same color as the, uh... Plasma, the... Oh gosh, what is it? Oh! Dang it! I didn't think that those counted as enemies for, like, uh... The floor clear. Better accuracy enemies touching you take damage. Higher rate of fire as it gets lower, or just flat for max HP. Let's go with that. Stronger track power, more HP from med kits, homing bolts. Let's go with less enemy HP. Let's just, let's mess around with some, some, uh, flat perks. Oh, I don't even know what they're called in this game. They're probably not called perks. Oh, God. Probably. I think I'm better at aiming with this one. Oh! Does the laser pistol do more damage? I'm not sure. Oh. Dang. It does a lot of damage, I can tell you that. I think this goes, like, across the entire screen, so if I see where that's those uh, shots are coming from. Yeah, I can knock out people from max range. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, gotta run away just in case. Don't clear this guy. Cool. Oh, is that a gun? Uh, grenade launcher. I did not appreciate my time with that. Okay, so we have, a. Uh, more enemies left than just the one. Crossbow. You know what? I will do that for the sake of change. Pretty cool combo. The crossbow and a laser pistol. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least we made it to the sewers now. That's something different. Oh. I think this might do a little bit more damage at the uh, expense of maybe being slower and having fewer bolts. I don't know. Whoop. Oh my god. These misses are so bad. Bazooka. He gotta give it a shot, right? Oh! It blows up the wall! Oh, not good for close range, though. <clears throat> okay. I have two weapons right now that are not very good at close range. I probably shouldn't keep that. Because the uh, laser pistol's accuracy is really finicky at uh, close range, it seems. Because they can juke you like crazy. What's all this gas here? 
don't know. Uh, I wonder now if I can blow up some wall. Maybe if I shoot a bazooka into the portal. No. Okay. Yeah, this is the kind of mentality I go through when I'm uh, playing rogue look or roguelike games alone. Rogue look what I'm doing to myself. All this play on words confusing the heck out of me. But um, that's how I play roguelikes, typically. Um, for the first time, and I'm, I love the sense of wonder you get. Am I missing out on anything over here? Um, uh, no, but I think I should maybe... You know, I'm gonna keep the laser pistol and the bazooka, whatever, you know? Gotta have some fun with it. Let's see, better accuracy, I don't know. Full health and some ammo. Could be what we should, like, that might be what we should do. Let's just do that. It's not the most exciting perk out there, but, uh, oop. Okay, so that's a melee guy there. We got some raven fellas. Mm. I don't like how fast this guy is. Okay, so some people are exploding. Some people are trying to get in melee range. There's fire shooting everywhere. Oh my god, dang. There's lasers. People got their sights on me. I want that health pack, but I don't want to kill myself for it. Oh my god. This is insane. Okay, okay. Ooh. Clearing this uh, floor a lot better than I thought I would. Triple machine gun? Now that sounds... Oh, that is my jam. That is real cool. I have not seen this weapon yet. So the weapons that have a chance to drop probably change as the game goes on. That's what I gather from this. All right, we're back near full health. I'm loving this weapon, my crazy guys. Oh my god. Okay, so those guys explode. Somebody was saying something about this in the uh, in the comments section about how it sucks up the experience. So I need to like pull people over here. Okay, it's. Come on, come a little bit closer. There we go, that might do it. Okay, so now if I explode it, I get a, okay. Now we're in a m mysterious, oh. Some secret level now. Thank you, person in the comment. I, I, I should have been a little bit better and uh, look to see, oh, what the hell? Oh, oh. <laughs> And look to see who did that, who set, made that comic, but look at all these. Bigger explosions. These are all different crowns. So it looks like pickups fade fast, but are fast, but are worth more. No ammo drops, more weapon drops. You can switch around all kind of guns. Lose health and gain radiation over time. That sounds tough. Free mutation, narrow future. So like, Good thing now, barely, like, not that much later. Only ammo chests. So that's, like, if I'm fine with my weapons. Less rads. Okay, rads is the currency. Um, what's, what's revenge? Minus one max HP revenge. I'm gonna try to find that out. Okay, I got a little crown with me now. Oh! Oh! What is happening? Is this revenge? Oh my... What is happening? Oh my god. What is happening? There's a boss here. Not enough bullets. What? I want that ammo. Can't get it. Oh my god.
What? Oh my god. What is revenge? <laughs> and is that, was that? What just happened? All right, well, I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick with fish for this first episode and uh, I'll probably like branch out with characters as I continue the series. Keep it like a little bit fresh later. Ooh. I should try to master this role a little bit more. I think it can, ooh. Feels like it might have more use uh, in a melee sense. Oh yeah. Okay, so you can, can cancel your roll with an attack. That's pretty good. Oh, this is my jam right here. This is what I... Okay, you can roll cancel into a melee attack. Awesome. Oh, and you can roll into a good position. I'm, I'm more of an uh, like offensive kind of roller. <clears throat> I probably should have checked the floor for more experience here. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just rolling everywhere. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this this roll seems uh oh to make a lot more sense in this situation. Okay, you know, I'm coming around to it. Still an enemy. I don't want to kill this one, just in case there's something over here. Okay, there is. It's an enemy. <clears throat> Saw rifle. I do like those, but not right now. Boop. All right, we hit level three. You can get all our level ups right now. That's still pretty cool. Uh, kills lower your reload time. Less enemy HP. Corpses fly and hit harder. I don't... I don't know. Damage taken... I mean, that could be good since I'm going up in the melee range. Slow, kills lower your reload time. Let's go with that. We're gonna be up in their faces. Push through limit on the walls. Less enemy HP. Let's go with less enemy HP. Sounds good to me. I don't know about this guy. I don't know what's special about this yellow guy. He seems dangerous. Okay. Woo! Nope, trying to get behind the corner. Okay. He's probably gonna burst through the wall here. Should get ready for it. I did it! I did it! Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Surprise! Should I go for the laser pistol? I don't think so. I kinda like my stuff. Oh my god! Oh! What? Um. Generating help. What? Was that just like a tip? A very good one. Oh yes, nuclear throne. I'm dead. Oh yes, nuclear throne. I'm dead. Okay. Uh. Yeah. One more. One more for the first episode. Let's go with one more. Let's make it a little bit longer. Hold on. Through punch break. Got the hang of the roll. Watch this be my longest run ever now. Thing about this game, I don't think you do you take a uh, melee damage. I don't know. Like if you run into people, I think worms it would make sense. But, like if I just word it. Okay, so he doesn't deal damage for, to me just by touching me. That's good. Slugger, I got that one in the uh, the other video too, and I liked it. It's like a big old bullet blast. Slower enemy bullets. That sounds pretty good. I'm shaking. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with 
euphoria. Why not? Wow. Not hitting things very well with this. This gun. Oh, something that I don't think I'll be good with for a while, or at least until I use it for Oop. a little bit longer. Okay. I just dodge rolled right into all that. Okay, well, that was one more run. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching this first episode of Nuclear Throne. If you want to support this brand new series, drop it a like, give it, you know, give it comments. Only if you want to see more of it, because uh, I'm just, I'm be honest, I'm going to base it based off of your reaction, what you guys think. If you want to see more Nuclear Throne, I will give you more Nuclear Throne. I'm having some fun with it, looking for a new series for the channel, but if you guys don't want to see more of it, I don't want to give you more of it. Anyways, the first episode is the best place to show your support if you want to see more. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.